The Kenyan culture, they all believe that when you eat your greens, it, you know, it makes you stronger. Look at, look at I don't Jason's want to eat no, no, Are you trying to encourage it's calamari without? Are you trying to encourage all the kids out there to confront their fears or to let their fears Come on. stop their progress? Jordan, you you inspire so many honestly, children no, honestly, honestly, to bro, not I, be scared of okay, animals. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't give me don't give me the encouragement. Usa. It doesn't Usa. work. It doesn't work. <laughs> hold on. All right. I think it's the already. Right, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia. What comes to mind when you think of food from these countries? If you don't know, then get ready, cause they're all delicious. We're having an East African feast joined by our friends Jordan Dakers and Jordan Feasley. Growing up in the Seattle area, we did have some friends from these backgrounds, but I don't think we've ever really delved into the cuisines. Which one is the best in our opinion? Let's find out. All right, man, we are here with Jordan Beasley and Jordan Dakers. Thank you guys for joining us um, today. And our first spot on our East African food crawl is gonna be Kenyan food at Rafiki Restaurant and Lounge in Kent. Yo, I've never had Kenyan food before, but you know, yeah, I just never had it. <laughs> it's the first time for me too. I, think, I, I don't think I've ever had it, bro. Like, I, honestly. So guys, today we're gonna be hitting up Kenyan food, we got Somali food, and we got Ethiopian food. So it's gonna be this whole thing, guys. And then, uh, I guess, Jordan, you, you can tell us about the the animals in the, on the horn. Yeah, I you're... I, I, I guess <laughs> I can. I, mean, I know my zebras and my lions and, you know, they, uh, they, you they, you're gonna tell us about the animals and then JD can spin the soundtrack. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> let's go. All right, we're here at Rafiki, and we are starting off with some appetizers. Um, and, and you guys have not had any of these. Nothing. I mean, this one looks familiar, but I feel like a samosa is almost like a noodle dish. Like everybody got a noodle dish, but like or a rice dish or something. So yeah. this samosa, this triangular wrapping, to accompany it, we got some Tusker Kenyan hey. beer. Yo, Jordan, you said you had this before. I've had it before. It's very smooth. Okay. It's very. Uh, it's it, it, it's almost classified as like it's like a light beer almost. Yeah. Did you oh, get it I because it had like, an elephant yeah, on it? Yeah. Because you get it. Yes. <laughs> Kenyan <laughs> samosa. It reminds me the most of a, a Jamaican patty. Okay. Because of the flaky crust, of course. And, and Jordan, we did we did a Jamaican uh, food episode uh, a couple years ago, but like I feel like even the Caribbean obviously does have a lot of like African influence. No, absolutely. I mean, for us, we have the patties. You know, the Trinidadian roti is also really popular in the same boat. You want to put that in some cocoa bread? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it would taste good, though. I hey, bet well, it would hey, taste well, this good. this is your opportunity. <laughs> oh, stop, no. This is kind of like a fry bread. Mandazi. It tastes like a sweet chalupa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or. Oh, <laughs> which is a fried bread, by the way. Yeah, it's dense like a chalupa, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's, it's much thicker. All right, guys, we're gonna just add on um, the Kenyan sausage. I feel like that paprika. It's like a, no, n like nutmeg. It's like softer. It's not as grainy. It's nutmeg. Yeah, it's nutmeg. It's like nutmeg. it has like a s slightly like sweet. sweet well, it's not it. Okay, we got our we got our three main entrees here. This is the samaki kanga, the fried tilapia fish. This is the buzi choma, the grilled goat. This is the cuckoo chicken, this is the curry chicken. Niyama kanga, the fried beef stew. This is the matumbo stew, this is a goat stomach stew. Yeah, I feel like all cultures eat tilapia. It's more of what they call it an invasive fish, invasive species, so it takes over and they kind of just, just reproduce and they're everywhere. So they are everywhere, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. Sakuma wiki appears on every dishes because in the Kenyan culture, they all believe that when you eat your greens, it, you know, it makes you stronger, it's supposed to carry you out throughout the whole week. Sakuma wiki. Mm. To take this Sweet, up. a little salty. What are you guys going with next? Ugali and the fish? Oh yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm packing everything onto a, a, a bite of the fish, actually. You, you mm. did say that too, it's very thick. It's like a thick flour cake. It's it's really a, it's is actually, it actually, it's actually cornmeal. Yo, oh, you can't fry it. That tilapia was cooked perfectly. How, yeah, how was it? I was gonna say, it's, I, I, Yo, enjoy, I enjoy the tilapia. I enjoy the tilapia, and you're right, I don't typically, like that's not my favorite fish, mm, like right. you know what I mean? But it, this was done really, really well. Um, this is like the fried beef stew. So here you have chapati, which is like their flatbread, their roti. Um, I think, yeah, Indians eat something very similar. So there is some shared. Naan. Looks like naan. Naan, but they also have a chapati too. Oh, they do, yeah. oh, they do have a chapati. They have something yeah. that's called chapati, so. Niyamakanga. Oh, yeah. Would you say it almost like looks, reminds you of something more more Western? Mm. At least stewy, in your mind. Yeah. yeah, stewy, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. tomato stew. You know, that flatbread is really dense. But it really holds together. It's almost like a very, like, almost dual tortilla. I guess good, savory, like, beautiful flavor. It's very, it's very, like, it flows. Does that make sense? Like, it, it like, it just goes down the palate. Boozy This This is how you do it? At goat. I've actually <laughs> never had grilled goat before. I've had it only in stew. 
Yeah, it's very chewy and very meaty. Yo, guys, here we have the, uh... <laughs> Yo, here, JB, Jordan. you were like, super excited to try this earlier. Jordan, yeah, you were just talking about how much you love goat stomach and tripe and mm -hmm. everything like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a, we're gonna go with you last, all right? How, how yeah. Hey, why don't you take the rest of that beer along with that? <laughs> yeah, honestly, bro, I gotta hold it. I need more of that. Go ahead and... Yes. Knock you that out. With goat stomach, is this, is this reaching that level where it's a little... A little bit of a weird cut. No, not at all. I mean, um, yeah, cow tongue, then yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's my thing. Intestines, I'm um, usually a no-go, but stomachs, I'm there for. Intestines is... <laughs> look at, look at intestines are no, 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 See, if it's yeah. tripe, it's We're all gonna try it and then put the pressure try, on try, it. I, I, I work with these animals, right? And like, I see what they put in their stomachs. I'm just, I mean, it's healthy stuff. It's good stuff, but like... Don't you feed them? <laughs> okay, like, you feed them. You bring listen, listen, listen. zookeeper excuse now. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, yeah, well, you know what a fermenter is? You know what fermentation is? Is this going to ruin the meal? It might. You tell us? Oh, it might. You know what? I'm going to eat this first. Eat this first. Eat this first. Eat this first. You're not going to eat You're not going to have it? Oh, God, bro. Like this, this. I'm usually, I'm, I've been, I'm this way better, better at trying stuff nowadays, but. We're just going, bro. We're not, we're not think, back in school no, I anymore. Think, I think for me, it's, it's more about the thought of what's like, like it's in my head. Like the image well, you know what it is I know what it is. Are you trying to encourage? It's calamari with the. Are you trying to encourage all the kids out there <laughs> to confront their fears or to let their fears Come on. stop their progress? Jordan, you you inspire Ooh. so many honestly, children no, honestly, honestly, to bro, not I, be scared of okay, animals. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> don't, don't give me, don't give me the encouragement. Usa. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> hold on. All right, I think it's the already. Right, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's not that bad. Really the savory. Good. It's, it's, it's great. To me. It's almost like um, a fatty tendon or a fatty yeah. meat piece, but um, without maybe some of the fatty coating. Bro, because right. you know you have that fat coat your mouth when it gets yeah. liquefied. Yeah, it gets like really chewy when it's fatty. This one like goes down smooth. Well, uh, so far, the Kenyan food we've had, there is clearly some uh, crossover with Indian food, right? Mm -hmm. And this is no different. We have cuckoo curry, which is a chicken curry. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want the chai with the cream or without the cream? If you give me cream, that, that lactose might kick in. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I heard cuckoo curry. curry. There's like a deep, Deep, deep chicken flavor. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost Whoa. like chicken cooked in chicken. That's been sitting in the pot marinated for like hours. Um, it really depends on where you are at from Kenya, right? Because, and that's the way with a lot of countries, if they border other countries, the areas of that country next to the borders are gonna eat different food than the center of the country. Right. All right, all right so we just had five Kenyan entrees, and I thought they were all really good, really stewy. I mean, I'm a fish guy personally, so like, I mean, tilapia is always gonna be like a go to for me, but the fried goat was really, really, really good. Oh, so man. if I had a favorite, it's kind of a tussle right now between these two. I can see the bone marrow melting right there in between the bone, let me just show you. My favorite actually is that, um, is the beef stew. Mandazi uh -huh. in the No, yam. no, you gotta dip more than that. More dip, than it, that. dip it, dip it, dip it, dip <laughs> it. Mm, mm -hmm. It's good. Yo, that right mandazi there? is Bro. crazy. I'm, that's what, I'm going with that too. Anytime I see a different style of curry that I haven't had before, no, that is true. I'm just it's blown true. away. Try, try the coffee, try the coffee. You'll feel the the deepness of the flavor. It's strong. Yeah. Chai has, has a very strong um, tingly. I, I think Kenyan food, I think if you guys get the chance, I mean, definitely try Kenyan food. All right, so we just finished up with the Kenyan restaurant. We are here, we have the table set up, and we have a spread of Somalian food. All right, yeah. so do you guys have any experience with Somali food? Uh, this might be like my first actual time having a full spread like this, because I grew up with a lot of uh, Somalian friends. I have had Somalian pasta once, and it was so good. I've been looking forward to trying it again. I'm down to just get into it. Here we have a beef pasta, and then here, this is where, these are the side dishes that we're gonna be eating with injera, which is also eaten in like Ethiopia and Eritrea. And then we have goat, we have chicken pasta, we have sambusas, which are kind of like somewhat samosas, and then we have lamb over rice. So during a Somalian meal, it's very uh, common to also eat a banana. How, how do we recognize goat? Because everybody else was kind of like, we, we kind of were unsure, but you were like, no, that's goat. Well, for me personally, I know from the bone structure, just because like when we eat our goat, it's not necessarily like a big slab of it, they're more chopped up. So like when I was looking at this certain side of it with the beef sticking out, and also when you start tearing it apart, uh, the darker meat that has like a chicken texture to it, but it's darker. Yeah. So I, I've worked with goats before, you know, and as, a, as a zookeeper, and I've actually never seen the inside of their leg. So, you know, this this is kind of a first Whoa. for me. Goat, goat shake. I, I like goat a lot too, but yeah. it, it, it could go bad. Like goat to me is like, you got to know how to cook it right. No, I would, I would agree. I feel like in a lot of meats that way, but it's just, I'm a more of a dark meat fan. 
Okay. So that kind of works for me too. <laughs> it's up right on my alley. It's pretty good. Ooh. It's not Dude, bad this, at all, actually. This piece looks quick. Like I told you, it's man, very juicy. You know what that. it reminds me of? Mm. Weird, but it reminds me of the, the turkey legs from um from uh, like Disneyland. Yo, I gotta see JV with this sauce right here. Look, look at JV's face, man. <laughs> Try a little bit. <laughs> like, it's a little spicy. It looks super spicy. No. Ten out of ten, if you ask me. Go fam. Our next dish of the Somali food, we got the injera. Now, injera is, I think, most famously known to be part of Ethiopian cuisine. Yeah, Ethiopian but, and Eritrean. But e Ethiopian and Eritrean cuisine. But in this region, you know, um, since they're all neighbors, like, Somalian people do eat injera too. Do they yes. call it injera, do you know? Yeah, it's a term I think everybody uses. If you got this at the restaurant, they would be putting all these little um, dollops of food. It would look like on a, this. On a platter. Yeah. On, on a platter, the platter. On a platter. As you guys platter. have seen this before. Um, but, but we could do a mini version. We'll do a mini version. So, okay. so why don't you guys scoop it? Everybody just scoop what they want. I've dipped a banana right. in hot sauce. I'm going to just go ahead and just throw that, that on there. Yeah. Okay. This is Somali injera. So, yeah, you take a piece and then you kind of scoop it with different parts of it. Uh huh. So you are, you, you, you can, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty yeah, common yeah. to eat everything together. Right, you, it's pretty common to eat it all together. So all you, right. you scoop it and then you eat, right? Okay. Injera is one of those things that's so unique. It's a little sour, but it's fluffy and mm, spongy. Yeah. It's kind of like refreshing, kind of gives me almost like a vinegar briny flavor. We're talking that banana, banana was kind of key. I guess a funny story I, I, I learned with eating injera once was that uh, apparently it's bad to eat with your left hand which is tough for me because I'm left-handed. Oh. So I had it with uh, friends and family, and then they kind of kind of gave me funny looks about it. It's like, oh, and then someone had to school me and tell me like, hey, just for reference, you yeah. know? Even culturally, even in like Indonesia where they eat with their hands and stuff, it's more common with your right hand. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's a right-handed world. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> Dave has been waiting for this uh, ten years. Somali pasta <laughs> wow, for that 10 long? years, yeah, that bro. Long. Why? Beef, Beef and chicken, chicken cigar, cigar pasta. pasta. The way they mm -hmm. cook their tomatoes, in Somo at this restaurant, this Somali restaurant is, it's fresh. It tastes mm. very, very fresh. Anyway, we're, we're moving on to the chicken. I gotta tell you, spicy, right? the chicken is not as spicy as you think. Mm -mm. Mm. The noodles from the chicken one seem a little more plain and not as like overly seasoned. I'm gonna try it with the injera out of curiosity. Right. Okay. Go for it. Carb on carb, but I like it. You know, hey, you know why you do? You know why you did that? <laughs> Because Jamaicans do that. Go ahead and put the beef patty inside of a bun. It just seems a little excessive. <laughs> <laughs> Same you, you, don't knock it until you try it. Right. I, you I, I you can't tell me you, a patty with cocoa bread, listen, which listen. is your beef on bread on bread. I guarantee I'll probably like it. I yeah. know I'll probably like it, but I just know it's a little much. It's like a pastry in a, in a roll. You don't care because <laughs> it's delicious. Lamb and rice and samosa. So get this lamb and rice. Dude, I have, just get this lamb right. This lamb was good. Low key, I'm more of a, I think I might Gosh. be the goat guy though. So I, I gotta say guys, this right off the bat, aesthetically, it kind of looks like um, lamb biryani. Oh, that, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. The Indian dish where it's kind of like tossed rice. Uh, the lamb is definitely, uh, it's tasty. Given the uh, amount of media representation that, you know, Somalian people mm -hmm. get, there's not a lot of it. I didn't know the food was so good. It, no, I think you guys gotta try it. Sambusa. Sambusa. That was the most herbaceous, Samosa like triangle I personally had. <laughs> hey JD, just just do what you want to do. Wrap it in the injera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not. No. I, I thought about it, but no, no, I'm, I'm not. I know it, it was, it was a thought, right? Uh, he, thought. Said, he said, mm, I don't think it'd be bad. I don't think it'd be bad. Hold on. Bro, I still, I still it's kicking so you. Spicy. As much as I enjoy the lamb, I gotta go, go. with the goat. Yeah. Lamb is good, but there's a lot. I've had other dishes that tasted like that. I've yes, never had yeah. something that the, where the goat was falling off the bone. And actually, guys, with the addition of the banana, because I like a little like sweet, fruity things with my meals, I, I thought it felt really well. Mm. Somalian food is very light, very easy to eat. It has a lot of flavor, but but it like not like it doesn't knock you out. Yeah. And when you really sit back and look at it, a lot of this stuff doesn't look as foreign as you know your mind might want to tell you from a place that you don't really know too well like we're looking at some of the lentils and the greens I'm like oh these are things that we have back home all right we have an injera feast from Ethiopia right now we have so many different dishes we have the veggie combos we have the beef tibs well, we we gotta we gotta we gotta peel back the layers, guys, just to show them. What show them what's inside. Oh my ooh, goodness! Ooh, oh, it's, it's like, like revealing. A, it's like exactly. A it, it's it's literally a plate. This is very very foreign to me personally. Um, I'm not very familiar with with Ethiopian okay. food. So we're, we're here to walk 
walk with me you. through we're it. We're walking with you. Know. you. So, so we're gonna make our own small yeah, injera so. plate. We're, we're right. gonna be making your own dishes. Take what you like, a little bit of everything. Wow, I, I brought lots of beef. <laughs> Tripophobia? Are you OCD and you have trypophobia? Quit playing. <laughs> bro, I'm a weird dude, bro. <laughs> I'll let JD lead this. JD. Because I guess I don't wanna put your business out there, but you used to date an Ethiopian girl, right? This she, was, she was a retrain. She was a retrain. Oh, she was a retrain. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, it looks kind of similar, but way more different selection. It looks yeah. heavier. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. Does that make sense? Yeah. It it's looks a lot fair, more colorful. Fair. It looks, yeah, it looks. I mean, it, it just looks cool. You have everything on the plate here. And, um, man, I just. Let's get into it. JD. I mean, hands first. Hands, hands first. I'm, 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 I'm going to start off with this uh, potato and the carrot. Yeah. Veggie combo. Veggie, veggie combo. Veggie combo. I'm going to follow that with another veggie combo. I'm going to go with the lentils. Oh. Greens and the lentils. All right, JD, you kept talking about the egg. I'm going at the egg right now. Dude, that's good. That I'm, veggie combo was really good. I was kind of eating the uh, injera bread on its own, and I was kind of like, oh, kind of sour. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But once you get it with the filling, something magical happens. You gotta have to mix everything together. That's the best way to do it. There's this uh, Indonesian dish, and we'll pop up the picture right here called nasi bungkus. It actually kind of very similar. When I wrap the injera in the veggie one, mm -hmm. it kind of reminds me of a Trinidadian double. A roti. Okay. Oh, yeah, it reminds me of a double. All right, here we got some Ethiopian coffee. Um, actually, Ethiopia is one of the oldest civilizations to have coffee. And you know, a lot of the you know cool hipster coffee beans are coming from Africa now. Yes. A lot of can I get the Kenyan Try it. bean, the <laughs> Ethiopian coffee? Yeah. Ethiopian mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's good. Authentic. Yeah, that's cool. It's they good. put a little bit of milk in there for us. Yep. Not bad. Mm. It's very thick too. It's thicker than like normal, what you would like American coffee. So this is have. very strong. Cheers. Cheers. Personally, I prefer the Somalian food. I just think it was a little easier for me to eat personally. Mm -hmm. but one thing I did like about this style of Ethiopia food was the, the beef tibs. And um, <clears throat> this guy right here, I forget what this, this is. Good. The fib fib. The, t <laughs> the, the tip tip and the fib fib. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mobile rap. Personally, I, I really do like the injera from Ethiopia. Like, yeah, all I, the pref mix I preferred it too. I, I liked it. Yeah, the mix of everything was really, really good. So I like the, the variation in this food. As far as the Ethiopian cuisine that we had, the vegetables really shined. And the meat was really good too, but I thought the vegetables were like shining above all other vegetables. And then for the Somali food, um, obviously the goat pieces, the big pieces of meat were kind of what we enjoyed the most. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that epic East African food crawl. We tried to cover as much as we could that was just available in a very small area. We went to Kenya, Somalia, Ethiopia. We Fiki. got the name of Rafiki. What does Rafiki, Rafiki mean? Rafiki means friend in Swahili. And a Simba, Simba means lion. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you about that. Yeah, Simba means lion in Swahili, uh, which is why they chose the name Simba for the Lion King. The food we had, the Kenyan food, was very like stewy and very savory, but very easy to eat. And then the Somali food was a little bit more like tomatoey based with a lot of the grilled meats. Yeah. And then the uh, Ethiopian food was very like vegetable slash a little bit of sour because the injera was very sour um, that um, when we we're eating it. And I just think to have all those different like flavors. And I'm not saying those words sum up the entire cuisine, but at least of what we ate, that's yeah. generally how I would describe it. And it was just like, and be able to put it on camera, I thought was so cool. And so I would recommend everybody out there, like if you get the chance to try any of these cuisines, I mean, go out there and try it. I wasn't going to go and find and say, hey, look, today I'm getting Ethiopian yeah. food. That just never really crossed my mind. I mean, I mean, now at this, in 2020, you can get these dishes. So right. um, uh, anything you want to plug? Mr. Zoo Man. <laughs> Zoolander. <laughs> you, can, you can find me at Jungle Jordan 23 on all platforms Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. TikTok. Wow. Your boy got a TikTok now. So I'm, hitting the, I'm hitting all the. the, the. I'm on Instagram, DJ Just Jordan. Uh, follow the team too, basically DJs. They'll find a lot of videos of me mixing, doing funny skits, trying to incorporate jokes into my routines as well as some off the wall ideas. Flipped a uh, reggae song into another song. Uh, and just kind of mash culture. That's my thing. Yes. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching us. In the comments down below, you let us know um, what your favorite East African dish is. It could be from just a number of countries. Um, and also let us know another cuisine that we should look out for. Maybe it's West African food or South African food. Whatever it is, you guys let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace! Hey, being, I, I being from a culture that has a beef curry patty, Yeah. tell us about the compare and contrast, man. The, the curry patty isn't as 
seasoned as this one is Yo. for sure. But they're very actually they're, they're pretty similar. They're pretty J similar. JD, just just do what you want to do. Wrap it in the injera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not. No. I, I thought about it, but no, no I'm, 